guys. It's been a moment, huh? Um, so today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to all of you Halloween happy friends. I'm listening to Christmas music right now. Super festive, right? You guys don't know how many times I've actually vlogged, or I've tried to vlog, I guess I should say. I know it's been a while since I posted videos, most of you probably don't even care, which is totally cool with me because I get it. I got some mail that I need to open, so everyone who sent me some stuff before Halloween, I have not opened it yet, um, which is why I haven't sent like any thank you messages to you. So please do not think that I'm ignoring you or I'm not appreciative or thankful for that. So I don't know guys, I... There's been a few videos that I've wanted to make. I don't know. So it's Thanksgiving guys. Um, what am I doing on this Thanksgiving? Not spending time with family, because I really don't have family. My half-sister, which I may have talked about a little bit, um, she did invite me over, and I did have some people invite me to their Thanksgivings. I don't know, just dealing with a lot of emotions right now. I don't know, it's been tough. Like, I know I always say that, like, it's been such a tough year or whatever, and I thought I would vlog a little bit today, thinking about putting up my Christmas tree, which is Halloween themed. Enough about me. How's your Thanksgiving going? My brain is just really scrambled, guys, so I apologize. The mail video that I need to put up, because there's two, I did one with cards, and then I did one with, like, not cards. I haven't forgotten about you guys, and thanks to everyone who had sent me something to my P.O. box before then, and then after then, and I still haven't posted a video or filmed. Yeah. So I've gotten a few messages, and you guys are so sweet, because I haven't been posting on my social media. I haven't been posting a video or anything like that. So I feel like this Halloween was a little different. Um, I'm just pretty much gonna lay it out there. I was just like, leave me alone. I don't want any part of this blah, blah. Like, why are you messaging me? A few accounts that would message me, like older accounts that you guys follow, um, newer accounts that I see some of you guys follow as well. Pretty much people would message me saying, how can I get my Halloween account like yours? How can I get people to send me free stuff? How can I get a lot of followers? How can I do this? How can I do that? I changed my account to Halloween. Why am I not getting free stuff? I changed my account to Halloween to horror. Why am I not getting this? I never replied to those messages because I'm like, leave me alone. Like, that's not why I do it. Like, Guys, I'm just over here in my bubble doing my thing, not for all of those reasons that you are interested in. I don't know, so that really like, I don't wanna say it brought me down, but that really made me like sick to my stomach because a lot of people that are over here or over there, to, they're over there too and on that one and this one and this one. I don't know. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Do you understand like without me having to go into it? Cause I just don't want to sound like a mean person. I don't want to sound like you really don't like Halloween. Cause hey, people say that about me cause I'm not posting Halloween pictures here and there. Do people really think that that's why I'm doing this? Like I'm not sharing my love of Halloween to get that stuff. I don't know. It's just really, it was really weird to me and I didn't like it. And then Ugh. And then someone was like sending me like crazy pics. Someone is messaging me like about a shoe fetish. Like, why are you guys putting me, like, why are these people putting me in weird positions? I don't understand. I still check my messages. I still comment. I still will message you guys back and blah, blah. But if you are one of the people that are only interested in that stuff, that the stuff that I'm not. I don't know. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? I don't want to I don't want to sound rude or anything like that. But I just need to get that off my chest. And then there were accounts that were stealing like my Instagram photos and putting it on their accounts and not crediting my account and trying to sell like different t-shirts and promote different websites that I was not affiliated with or anything like that. Like some of you guys were asking if I got money for them for shirts that they would sell. I was not, I'm not affiliated with anything. I don't get paid on my Instagram. That's not me, please don't buy a shirt from them. I mean, you could, I don't care, but don't think that I'm with them. This is like rambling, I'm so sorry. Sites that were like, if you want your account advertised on us, message us. And so people were like, why are you messaging to get your account to be seen by more people and to get more followers? I don't message anyone to share my photo to, 
get more followers. They just take my photos, guys, and it makes it look like, because that's what they advertise, it makes them look like, it makes it look like that I'm like, share my photo so I can get more followers, like, no. So that, like, just really rained on my Halloween parade because I was like, what the heck is happening right now? Like, just be yourself, do your own thing, do something that you love and that you're passionate about. Don't try and, mm, mm, mm. It's just like, ugh. That was just one of the reasons why I didn't, re I stopped posting. And then it just, it just really saddened my heart. Cause I'm like, I don't want people to think that that's how I am and that's what I'm about. Blah, 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 blah. But anyone who's still watching this video, I appreciate it and I love you guys. And you guys, you, there's a select group that watches because you love Halloween, um, because you love me, which I don't know why, and because I love you, we've, um, we've grown our friendship into more, we message each other, you know, we keep in touch, like, those are the people that I'm like, thank you so much, man, I appreciate your Halloween heart, I appreciate your love, your support, <sighs> you guys hate me now, don't you? Hi, guys. So I've been cleaning, so much fun. So I've been cleaning, doing laundry, washing my sheets. Is that about opening some mail or like doing a video? I don't know, I was gonna film a video later tonight. I really need to edit um, the last mail video that I did. So I don't know, maybe I'll go get my Christmas tree, I guess. I think I'll do that. I don't even know where all of my ornaments are. I think they're like somewhere that's not here. Oh yeah, and if you're lonely on Thanksgiving, don't look at social media. It will make you want to die. Yeah. Got out my Christmas tree from my car. Listening to Christmas music. I don't know if some of you guys remember it from last year, but if you do, it says hello to you. Alicia was with me when I picked it out. I can't remember. Pre-lit comes in like three different pieces, I believe, so that is easy for me. I thought about replacing this tree and putting the Christmas tree here, but I really like seeing my Christmas trees when um, I'm watching TV or like sitting on the couch or whatever. Thought about putting it right where that table is at. Where do we want the tree at? Do you have a preference, Raven? Anyone have any suggestions? I don't know what I'm gonna do here but we'll see how it goes, I guess. So this is what we have so far. Sometimes I feel like they look a little too sparse, like this one is still looking a little sparse. Once you put ornaments on it, it's fine. But a trick that I have and that my mom taught me and that we would do all the time is pushing the branches down like this. It looks taller, but then it also looks fuller even though it looks Slimmer, if that makes sense. And last year I put these jack-o'-lantern lights on it. You already have eaten dinner. You want more. Um, okay, so I forgot that I had these lights, which are one of my favorite string of lights. Put the lights here, and then I could take this last strand and put it on my tree. It's a little bit later. I decided to go ahead and put my Christmas tree right here because it's just gonna get in the way when it's over there. Um, so yeah, it's going right there. Um, I'm going to put the skelly hands on the tree. I think I did that last year. Probably look for my ornaments sometime. Um, I'm making some rice right now. Black beans, some taco seasoning on it so it gives a little more flavor. Either have like lettuce wraps or I might do like a rice bowl with veggies. I took my car in, guys. I did get an oil change. The car that I drive is an 04. It's old, because my heater doesn't work, so that's always fun to deal with. So I go in there, and I take it to Midas. Usually I'll go to Ford. I have never been there. It's like, hey, have you ever been here? What's your last name? He's like, oh, we have a so-and-so, and he says my mom's name. I was like, oh. I was like, no, I mean that, yes, but then he's like, oh, then I also have so-and-so, which is my uh, 
half brother that I don't really talk to. So yeah, that was fun. I guess like my ball joints are breaking. Really big safety hazard and he recommended me not drive. So I was like, all right, Tommy. Give me an estimate and let's see how much this damage is gonna be. He was really nice because he gave me a list of like most important to least important. He gives me an estimate of over a thousand dollars and I crapped my pants. He was like, well, if you do it today, he's like, I'll give you this off and this and it'll be like 970 something dollars. I'm like, no. He's like, we have financing and I just looked at him like, if I would get if I would get approved, I would have given you my credit card. So I was like, well, pretty much you're telling me I should throw my car away. He's like, no, you just haven't really given it TLC in a while. I'm like, yeah, that's true. Girl that I work with, her husband is a mechanic, and I called him just to kind of ask him if he could give me like an estimate and whatnot. It'd be about like 800 something dollars. That just really stressed me out because I'm like. I'm just really worried about like making rent. I want to make sure I pay my rent. My lease is up at the end of January. And when I looked for apartments, like I didn't really do research or anything. I just like found what I could as fast as I could. Um, I thought about like moving into a different complex, a smaller apartment like here. Um, it's a few hundred dollars less, but it's still, you know, like I just, I want to be able to save up. I want to be able to go to the dentist. I want to be able to go to the doctor because I don't have health insurance, guys. Like I want to be able to take care of myself, like medical wise, I guess. Um, and not have to worry about, I don't know, thought about moving like out of Kansas and I just don't really know what my life is gonna be so it's been stressing me out I'm thankful currently I have a roof over my head and I'm able to work so I can't really complain but I hate not knowing what the future holds for me do I want lettuce wraps or do I want a rice bowl having a veggie plate I guess dinner's ready man look how good this looks looks good to me anyways it's the next day, Black Friday. I don't know if any of you guys are going shopping. I'm not. You've noticed if you made it through this vlog that uh, I gotta get my car fixed. So I do not have extra money to be spending on Black Friday deals. So I'm editing this vlog right now, the one that you were watching, and I didn't have an outro for it. So yeah, I hope, I hope the beginning rant doesn't sound mean or anything at all because I, like, I'm just worried that it's going to come off like that and I really don't mean it like that. Of course I'm like thankful and grateful for having Halloween happy friends and having you guys in my life. You guys really do keep me going and I hope you know that. I wish you knew that. I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. If you're celebrating it today or this weekend, I hope that you are able to enjoy some time with your friends, your family, your loved ones. If you're not spending it with anyone like how I did am was, um, I hope that you can just be thankful for everything that you have in your life. I want you guys to know that I'm wishing you a happy Thanksgiving and we survived this holiday. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to try and get those mail videos up. I don't know if you guys like mail videos or not. So if you guys have any like topics or suggestions of videos or like things that you want me to talk about, I totally will. I know that I'm always like, I want to talk about other stuff. And you guys are like, well, freaking do it. It's your channel. Who cares? Let me know if you guys want to like ever hear anything or if you have any questions and I will make videos about such things. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Sorry, it was kind of boring and rambling. Let me know if you put up your Christmas tree. Let me know if you are stuffing your face of mashed potatoes in corn and white gravy. Do any of you guys like white gravy? Thanks again for taking the time to watch this vlog, guys. I appreciate all the support, all the comments, everything. I appreciate you and your time. Hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day and I will see you guys next time. Bye. She says bye too.